Have you ever wanted to build your own chatbot that talks to users step by step, captures responses in real time, and feels like a natural conversation without writing a single line of code? Hi, I'm Daniel. Welcome to my channel where I make smart tutorials. In this video, we are diving into Vectorshift's powerful new feature, Conversational Nodes, a game changer for anyone who wants to build smart, interactive bots for lead capture, forms, surveys, or customer onboarding. I'll walk you through the entire process from scratch, step by step, so by the end of this tutorial, you'll have your own fully functional chatbot that can talk, listen, and guide users through your workflow. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. Ready to build something awesome? Let's jump in! Vectorshift AI How to build step-by-step -step chatbots in Vectorshift Using conversation pipelines In this video, we're going to create a conversational chatbot using a new feature in Vectorshift called Conversational Nodes. This helps you build step-by-step -step dialogues with users no coding needed, while reacting to their answers in real time. Let's first go to the Pipelines section and press Create a new pipeline. You can use the presets offered by Vectorshift, but today we are building a chatbot from scratch because we want to focus on this new conversational functionality. It has just two components. Talk, what the chatbot will say. Listen, what the chatbot will wait for or capture from the user. We'll create a new pipeline and name it, for example, Lead Capture Chatbot. Then press Add node and choose Conversational node. This is the new function we are interested in. Once selected, press Start and now define the first action. Of course, the first action will be a talk block. Just drag and drop it in. We'll create a new action where the chatbot will ask the user something. This can be a message, an image, a card with buttons, a title and description, or even a carousel with multiple cards. For our case, we'll go with a simple message. In the message field, Let's type what the chatbot will say. First, we'll ask the user for their name. Next, we use the listen block to capture the user's response. There are two options here. Capture. Pauses the conversation and waits for the user to type something. Button shows clickable buttons for the user to choose from. We'll choose capture and name the variable username. Always name your variables clearly. It's good practice when building chatbots or workflows. Now connect the talk message to the listen output. Next, we'll create a second talk block. Again, select message. And now we'll use the username variable to personalize the next question. You'll see a preview like, hi, username response. Can you share your email address? Then add another listen block, select capture again, and name this variable user email, connect it to the previous block. Once the user enters their email, we want the chatbot to respond. Add another talk block with a message and write Thanks, username response. We'll get in touch with you at user email response very soon. This will be the final message from our bot for now. But we can go further. We can direct the user to a website or show a card with a button. Let's add the talk block again. And this time choose card. Enter the title. I'll type thank you. Write a description. And upload a picture. 
then customize the button text and link it to your website. Now our conversation flow is complete. Let's test it out. Press run and we see the assistant asking for a name. I'll enter Daniel. And it responds, Hi Daniel, can you share your email address? Now it's waiting for the email. I'll enter it. And the bot says, Thanks Daniel, we'll get in touch with you at daniel at example.com very soon. Then we see the card with the image and button. We click it and it takes us to the website. Now, the chatbot we built in just a few minutes using the new conversational function in Vectorshift is ready. We can deploy it and choose one of the versions – major, minor or patch – and write a description for this version. I'll write that this is the first version and deploy it. So we've just created a basic chatbot that collects the user's name and email with a conversational flow. Conversation nodes are a powerful tool for building forms, quizzes, flows and more quickly and easily. Final thoughts. And that's a wrap. In just a few minutes, we built a fully functional, interactive chatbot using Vectorshift's new conversational nodes, all without touching a single line of code. The possibilities here are huge. You can use this for lead generation, onboarding flows, feedback forms, support bots, or even dynamic surveys. And because it's visual and modular, you can keep building and improving without breaking anything. If you're looking for a powerful, no-code way to create smart assistants or automate conversations in your business, Vectorshift is definitely worth exploring. If you're excited to try it out, or if you've already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below, I'd love to hear your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more no-code AI tutorials. Thank you.